years ago, the hot winds of war blew across the land and made of it a country divided. Friend turned into foe. Brother fought against brother. And overnight, the Union found itself split in two over the issue of states' rights. The hateful and bloody conflict lasted five long years. Years that saw names like Shiloh. Chickamauga. Chancellorsville. Vicksburg. And Mission Ridge, written indelibly on the conscience of a nation. General William T. Sherman once uttered what is considered to be a masterpiece of understatement. War is hell, he said. And no soldier worth his salt could ever disagree. But hell or no, a fighting man looks hard for something to latch on to. For some, it was a letter from home. For others, a chance to fill the gnawing ache in their stomachs. Some men gambled away their pay to take their minds off what they were doing. While others did a little tippling when they could afford it. But to the greatest majority, as it has been since the beginning, it was a song that helped to while away the unbearable loneliness. On both sides of the Mason-Dixon line, citizens and soldiers alike had one thing on their minds, and they weren't ashamed to sing about it. When Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, hurrah, we'll give him a hearty welcome then, hurrah, hurrah. The men will cheer, the boys will shout, the ladies, they will all turn out, and we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. Father Abraham, with 300,000 strong, with 
So they gave Johnny a gun, and Johnny went to war. But it was to be a long time, long days and nights, before Johnny was to see again the things he was fighting for. Still, not even the cannon's roar nor the deep silence of night could keep Johnny from dreaming. And more often than not, the dream was a girl, a wife, a sweetheart. The years creep slowly by, Lorena. The snow is on the grass again. The sun low down the sky, Lorena. The frost gleams where the flowers have been. It has been said that no other war in our nation's history gave birth to as many songs as the Civil War. It was such a long and drawn out struggle, and the feeling on both sides was so intense that literally hundreds of songs of all descriptions were inspired. These were stirring times, and the songs were a reflection of the time. It transcended description. And today, a hundred years later, the sights and sounds are recaptured in an original musical work composed by Sergeant First Class Morton Croy and performed by the United States Army Band conducted by Major Samuel Laboda. The Battle. The 
the sun arose, gray-eyed, at mystery. the sun arose, to witness from the heavens what was about to transpire here on earth. But the spectacle and horror remain tragically the same. Then suddenly, Georgia, in Pennsylvania, and Virginia, and Tennessee. Beautiful shore, 
Johnny, who fought on the side of the Greys, too. And like his counterpart from the North, he, too, sat by his campfire in the evening, thinking the same thoughts, remembering. There's the yellow rose of Texas, I'm going there to see. No other fella knows her, nobody, only me. So when I left her, it like to broke my heart. And if we ever meet again, we never more shall part. She's the sweetest rose of color a fella ever knew. Her eyes are bright as diamonds, they sparkle like the dew. You may talk about your dearest maids and sing a Rosalie. But the Ella Rose of Texas beats the bells of Tennessee. Back to find her, my heart is full of woe. We'll sing the songs together we sang so long ago. I'll pick the banjo gaily and sing the songs of yore. The yellow rose of Texas, she'll be mine forevermore. Rose of color a fella ever knew. Her eyes are bright as diamonds, they sparkle like the dew. You may talk about your dearest maids and sing of Rosalie, but the yellow rose of Texas beats the bells of Tennessee.
were fighting a war of another time, a century ago. But their songs still have the power to rouse and stir us. I wish I was in the land of cotton, cold and air, and not the rabbit of the waves, the waves, the waves, the land. In Dixieland, where I was born, it's early on the frost, you want to live its inevitable end, bringing with it a tragic mixture of grief and joy. Something was lost, but something was gained. A unity. A truth. Oh, 